Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am highly overwhelmed at what happened this afternoon. And I know that people have been coming here for Crusade. I've not seen anyone that is, uh, has been able to affect the lives of inmates of, like this. It's a very good thing. And uh, we give God the glory. We give God the honor. And I want to urge the inmates that uh, have come out this afternoon to surrender their lives to the Lord Jesus to now begin to live by faith and not by sight. And uh, that the gospel of hope that has been brought to them this afternoon shall set them free in the name of Jesus. Amen. I also want to appreciate the evangelists and the church that has come. In fact, I wasn't even thinking it would be a reality. I was on my way from Abuja on uh, Saturday when you called. As you know, it was Friday. Yeah. When you call, I said, Well, I don't know you. He told me the DCP at the bar prison gave him my number. So, this program has been conducted in the very prison, it has been conducted in Abba prison, and so many other places where he has shown us in his uh, uh, listen. So, we want to thank God that the cloud of glory has also reached to this place. And, uh, what God has done today in the lives of this image shall be permanent in Jesus' name. So, evangelists, you are welcome. And you and your, your team, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please, um, uh, when, we, when we go anywhere, we usually, even if we don't have anything, we usually make sure that if it's one bottle of drink and one pack of biscuits, we give to the um, to my friends inside this place. As I was once inside like this, I wouldn't like you to come and visit me without giving me something to eat. So that's why we brought these ones for you. And um, also, when we got to the um, to the officials there, we were discussing. We found out that the, you don't have generator for pumping water, so we have to quickly rush out to go and buy you one generator so that you may be able to pump water. And also, also we discovered that the, in the medics, there are not, not so much medicine left there. We also gave some cash so that they can buy some medicine. So that if there's, if there's pain, if your head is taking you, you can run there and then have a panadol to, to swallow. This is what we call Christianity. Can we all continue to love each other this way? Because if we don't show you love, I don't know how you will show other people love. Love is something very contagious. When you, you when you exhibit it, it flows. So please start to love one another. When somebody brings food for you here, yeah, share with your fellow inmates. Don't eat it alone. Please don't share with others. We believe in sharing. And I don't know how many babies sir, we have here. How many babies we have in the prison? How many babies are there? Only two. Oh, thank God. My heart was beating fast because many like in Lagos, I have two twelve babies. Every month we have to give them five thousand naira each. That's sixty thousand naira every month for the babies. Sometimes our pocket goes empty. I don't have any money to give them. I'll just call and say there's no money this month, and we have to buy the different home. So now we have to also give five thousand naira here when we can. And we will give now we have thirty-eight. We have thirty-eight babies. Thirty-eight babies we have. So bear with us. The month that we didn't respond, don't be angry with us. It's something that we will try our best to respond. And if we don't respond in some months, just bear with us. It's because we have 241 prisons in Nigeria. And I have been to 160th prison today. So we have so many children where we have to have another thing. Please give me thank you once again for giving us the opportunity to come over here. And the Dominion City Church members, I love you all. You have been my partner from the beginning and you will always be my partners. And now, the truth of the matter is you have to go and write the paper, bring to the DCP. He will sign it for you. I know he will not refuse you coming. He is our man. I know he will refuse you. So every week, Pastor, you send your men in. Every week. Because if this one goes astray, you have to pay for it. These ones have to be mentored. So the job of the Minas City, all of you here, is to come in here. Just women go to the female section, men go to the church, just begin to mentor them. Feed them with those things that you are eating out there. 
this word of God that we hear from our Father, our Reverend, the Philo Willie. Come here, feed them with that same word. They will be like us as well. They will know what we know. Please, I am begging you. Let's not just go out and forget. Or maybe some of us will come here out of curiosity. Let it not be like that. We have seen their situation. We have seen what is going on here. We must keep on doing this. And all this support, buying all these things, supporting to help you financially, this is, you know, God will reward you all. Dominion City in Omaha will never fall. They will never fall. They will continue to expand. For the money you spend in supporting me to do this work, you will never go bankruptcy. I'm telling you, you will never fall. A lot of folks will see you through. Mothers, remember that you left your husband before you come in here. Change quickly so you can meet your husband. Fathers, 